How's it going, everybody? Puzzle Mobile here, bringing another absolute banger of a trophy guide. Today, we're going for the data mining trophy in Space Marine 2, where you have to collect all 35 data slates. So, first things first, there's data slates in all of the campaign levels, not counting the tutorial prologue level, as well as all six of the operation missions, so you might want to grab a friend or two to go through and get these. We're going to go through the entire campaign first, then all the operations in order. I'm going to leave timestamps down below for each of the data slates, so go ahead and skip through to find anything you're missing. Alright, so we're starting with Skyfire, the first campaign level. First, your objective is going to be to make your way through the swamp. Immediately after you're asked to head through the swamp, shoot the exploding plants on the left to get to the first data slate. Next, while your objective is still to make your way through the swamp, after you see the orbital guns in the distance, don't jump down to meet up with your squad. Instead, jump down into the swamp from the ledge next to the metal tower, and you'll find the data slate next to a tree. Next, while your objective is to navigate through the base, after entering the gate, don't head right towards the fan. Continue up the stairs to find the next data slate. Finally, when your objective is to reach the targeting system, this is just on the right side of the elevator, it's hard to miss. Emperor protection. This will serve you well. Alright, so we're moving on to Severance, the second campaign level. First, while your objective is to reach the Adeptus Mechanicus facility, instead of crossing over the metal bridge, head behind the destroyed tank to find the data slate. Next, while your objective is to locate the transmitter, once you enter the Mechanicus facility, don't assemble in the elevator. Instead, go straight toward the red light to find the data slate. Expect enemy presence. Next, while your objective is still to locate the transmitter, once you've restored the power, you'll need to use a terminal to open a door. Ignore that and head right instead to grab the data slate. Finally, when your objective is to reach the crash site, after getting the jetpack, head inside the first cave and jump on the platform up and to the left to find the data slate. Alright, so we're moving on to Machinus Divinitus, the third campaign level. First, while your objective is to proceed to the elevator room, immediately after crossing the bridge, turn left toward the rooftop to find the data slate. Sir, you seem to be at full strength again. 
Did the apothecaries identify the cause of your collapse? Focus on the mission, Sergeant. As you wish, my lord. Next, while your objective is to proceed to the data banks, as soon as you get the objective, don't jump down to the left side. Instead, head the other way to find the data slate. Finally, while your objective is still to proceed to the data banks, before you assemble in the elevator near the end, continue toward the dark path to find the data slate. so we're moving on to Servant of the Machine, the fourth campaign level. First, while your objective is to advance to the Neurothropes Lotus, after heading up the elevator, follow the path on the left side to find the data slate. Finally, while your objective is to advance to the Temple of Thassian, after reuniting with Chiron, go straight, and in a corner on the left-hand side, you'll find the data slate. It seems the traitor's motives are unmasked. Seems. You doubt they wish to stop Aurora. You will soon learn that when dealing with heretics, nothing is as it seems. All right, so we're moving on to Void Song, the fifth campaign level. First, while your objective is to restore power to the door, when you're asked to restore the power, instead of heading up, just head left instead to find the data slate. Next, while your objective is to advance to the relay entrance, after you exit a large gate with a loadout swap in front of you, use your jetpack to reach the platform on the right side to find the data slate. Engaging thrusters. Finally, while your objective is to transmit a message to Lord Kalgar, after exiting the elevator, head into the corner on the right-hand side and you'll find the data slate. Alright, so we're moving on to Dawn's Descent, the 6th campaign level. First, while your objective is to advance to the Cathedral, as soon as the objective changes, continue to jump up the platforms using your jetpack. Once you're at the top, on the left side by the ammo cache, you'll find the data slate. Are you hearing this? Vox ghosting. Ignore it. Next, while your objective is to advance to the Mechanicus facility, after arriving at the graveyard, you'll see a path on the left side heading down, and at the end of the path, you'll find the data slate. Next, while your objective is to explore the ruins, just before the sequence where you have to defend the area until the elevator arrives, head all the way south from the main gate to find the data slate. Why install Aurora deep within these ruins? Perhaps it was already here. How? 
A relic from the Dark Age of Technology. This is heresy. They will no doubt invoke the Treaty of Mars. This damn quest for knowledge. Finally, while your objective is to advance to the Aurora, as you're heading toward the objective on the right-hand side next to a corpse, you'll find the data slate. Alright, so we're moving on to Bellum Sempaternus, the seventh and last campaign level with data slates in it. First, while your objective is to regroup with Acheron, immediately after jumping down from the starting area with all the guardsmen, check the left side to find the data slate. Next, while your objective is to advance to the second force, continue following the path until you find a tomb in the middle of a room. Go straight ahead instead of heading toward the objective, and in a corner you'll find the data slate. The devotion is commendable. We must hurry. Our brothers pay in blood for every second we delay. They should be on the other side of that door. Finally, while your objective is to advance to the obelisk, once you get the objective, go through the second blue gate and stay on the right-hand side to find the data slate. Talasa, report. This is Straben. It is done. May the Emperor bless you, Straben. I am the lightning rod for his will. You may rejoin the main effort. Drive the blade in deep, brother. Talasa, out. All right, so we're moving on to Inferno, the first operation level. First, while your objective is to reach the Astra Militarum camp, before you jump down, turn around into a broken bunker, and at the back, you'll find the data slate. Finally, while your objective is to advance to the observation platform, in the open area you'll come across a tanker on the left hand side next to a ramp. Continue heading up and on the left hand side you'll find the data slate. Alright, so we're moving on to Decapitation, the second operation level. First, while your objective is to proceed to the bridge tower, once you enter the church, head all the way up to the top, and on the left side you'll find the data slate. Perhaps the mindless hive beasts are drawn to the psychos. Finally, while your objective is to pursue the Hive Tyrant, once you enter the indoor section after the destroyed pathway, you'll find a small shrine on the right-hand side, and further to the right, you'll find the data slate. Precisely what we needed. All right, so we're moving on to Vox Liberatus, the third operation level. First, while your objective is to find a way to bring down the warp shielding, after being attacked by a Venator, head up the stairs to a dead end, and on the left-hand side, you'll find the data slate. Finally, while your objective is to restore the elevator shielding, after you're done heading down the large elevator while fighting off waves of chaos, on the lowest floor on the right hand side near some tables you'll find the data slate. Could prove useful. All right.
right, so we're moving on to Reliquary, the fourth operation level. First, while your objective is to proceed to the Warp Beacon, after you jump into the large circular room with a console in the middle, head up the stairs on the left to find the data slate. Finally, while your objective is still to proceed to the warp beacon, once you unseal the tomb and head outside, when you get to the first large building that's necessary to go through, head to the right to exit out onto a balcony where you'll find the data slate. Alright, so we're moving on to the Fall of Atreus, the fifth operation level. First, while your objective is to proceed to the Mechanicus compound, after using the crane to clear the blockade, jump down and head to the back of the room to find the data slate. Finally, while your objective is still to proceed to the Mechanicus compound, in the section with a large machine, continue up the ramps and on the left side before you reach the top, you'll find the data slate. Alright, so we're moving on to Ballistic Engine, the sixth and final operation level. First, while your objective is to proceed to the Militarum Depot, enter the facility past the sandstorm, and on the right hand side near a broken pipe, you'll find the data slate. Finally, while your objective is still to proceed to the Militarum Depot, jump down into the train depot near the end of the mission, and behind a tank you'll find the data slate. And with that, if you've been following along and getting these in order, you should have the data mining trophy unlocked. They weren't particularly difficult to find in the end, not if you were exploring each of the levels like I was, but hopefully the video helped you get any that you happened to miss. Speaking of, if this did help you out, feel free to leave a like, comment down below what your favorite class to play is in Space Marine 2, and subscribe to the channel for more Space Marine 2 content.